with a broken live stream and technical difficulties. Here we go. Here we freaking go. Um, yeah, so welcome to the channel, everyone. This is going to go up as a regular upload, so I should do an intro. Hey there, how's it going? It's Rust Belt Collector, and this this live stream, this video, this upload is going to be absolutely insane. For me, at least, hopefully it is for you as well. But, um, well, we're going to be looking at uh, three mail halls today. Uh, we'll do two up front that are just kind of like, uh, you know, hanging out, getting people in the chat kind of thing. And then the final one is going to be the grail because got to save the best for last. It's what you do, you know. And, uh, hey, how's it going, uh, person in the chat? Your name disappeared right as I went to uh, read it, so I apologize. Delete your channel. Jesus, you two fuck, get out of my, get, get out of my chat, man. Uh, I don't know if that was, uh, just, you know, people, people bully me on the internet, you know? There's no reason why that I get bullied on the internet. I am a very nice person most of the time. Okay, bye. See you later, JCC2224. Thank you for joining. Um, anyways, so yeah, there's this, which is going to kind of come around later, but initially I just wanted to take a look at what essentially is a box of fodder that I got. I better make sure I hide my address. But it's essentially a box of fodder that I got, and it's going to be awesome for customs. Honestly, that's why I buy some things, you know? And, oh goodness... Yeah, I'm just dumping it because it's kind of, this is kind of how it got shipped to me. Um, there's a lot of fodder in here, but I got it for a good deal and this is going to be amazing. Um, I, oh no, he's got my address. Oh no. Hopefully the live chat goes up with this upload so that it doesn't seem super weird where I'm just talking to myself about random crap. Um, are you the guy I helped get the gun on BF2? Potentially, you probably are. Um, if it, I think it was in like the TikTok live stream, someone helped me figure out how to get the uh, um, one of the unlocks in Battlefront Two. I forget which one it was. I think it was for the heavy guy, the the heavy gunner. And I appreciate you. Um, I do appreciate you. So yeah, this is just fodder, and primarily it's fodder for a couple customs. This in particular, this Arc Trooper comma is going to be very helpful. Um, for the grail that is coming up at the end of this live stream because this is going to go for a custom figure and uh, That kind of kind of gives it away if you know your Star Wars lore, but most of this stuff is in this lot in this first mail hall is kind of useless to me um, Like broken General Grievous's. I don't really care about that. He goes back in the box You've got uh, a, a helmetless Zam Wessel also kind of useless, but Still a cool play feature where the arm uh, gets cut off. You gotta gotta love that when Hasbro was really okay with uh, with uh, doing dismemberment. You know that was that was a thing that happened. And oh, there's a yeah yeah yeah. Check this out. This I didn't even know they made this up until I got this haul. And it's a Tuscan Raider that you can chop the head off. Hey kids, you want to play with a Tuscan Raider that you can chop the head off? <laughs> like this is a child's toy, and uh, they made it so that you could cut its head off, which honestly is kind of cool to me now. But as a parent, I might be not okay with that. Um, yeah, I think this is from Attack of the Clones because this is the one that Anakin kills um, right outside the hut. You know, so there's that which I'm actually keeping. That's a that's a good figure. The Zam Wessel. I might see if some of the tubes and stuff could be used for custom fodder, but. Ultimately, it's a Zam Wessel with no brim. You know, you get the the meme, the Gen Z meme. It's a it's a Zam Wessel with no brim. Yeah, into the box, into the fodder box with you. And then, oh, we've got <laughs> there's three dismemberment specials in this apparently because do we have his arm? I don't think we have his arm, but we have uh, Anakin with no arm, so that's cool. We have Senator Bail Organa. Um, not exactly the figure that most kids were asking for for Christmas, I'm sure, but honestly not a bad one for the collection. So, um, the good figures, the good ones, the good, the good old boys are going to go over here. Um, we have a Wampa with a head that apparently came off, so that's, that's no good. 
Um, I did see someone do a custom with this Wampa body or a Wampa body, and they made it into Moroff from Rogue One, and I thought that that was pretty cool, but obviously um, this Wampa seems to have seen better days. Goes into the 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 thing. Bail Nye the, si the Senate guy. That is actually a humorous joke. Uh, <laughs> This is this is Bail Nye, the Senate guy, and he's gonna go do senatorial things as one does. I appreciate the humor. I appreciate that. That was very witty. Uh, then we have Asajj Ventress, and I I forgot. Um, I took her head off because uh, <laughs> I opened this mailbox. Uh, this mailbox. I opened this mail. Well, it was a box. I opened this box before doing this video. Like. Um, I don't know, a couple days ago, and I took the head off, and you will see what I did with the head, because it's actually quite a cool head swap. Um, the next upload where I upload an Acid Rain review, the, the toy line Acid Rain, there's a cool head swap that I did, and um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do when uh, when I do that review, you'll see why there is a headless Asajj Ventress, but it is nice to have the realistic uh, Clone Wars 2003 Asajj Ventress. I do like this sculpt, but without the lightsabers, I think the head is going to be more useful on a custom, at least for now. Oh, there's Anakin's arm, his magnetic arm. It was attached to magnetic Obi-Wan Kano. I've got, there's like so many magnetic figures in this lot. I, I didn't realize that before. Um, but yeah, there's magnetic Obi-Wan Kenobi. That was disgusting and grimy. I never want to do that again. Um, and then there's things like this. So a lot of the stuff in this lot are just broken droids. I think this guy's from Star Tours. And we got, uh, oh, thank you, Deluxe Force Jump Obi-Wan. He's a little bit worse for wear. He may have force jumped into a pool of lava or something, but he's, uh, he's cool. But yeah, I got all these like droid parts, right? And uh, there's like a super battle droid arm. There is removable face C-3PO. And if I ever do like a junk shop custom like diorama, I would weather these guys up and kind of sprinkle them throughout the build. So these are useful pieces to me as well. I don't think that it's totally junk to get pieces like this. Um, it's good for custom fodder. It's good for like diorama dressing and... Uh, it's very, very good for um, like prop dressing when I do the toy photography. These make good background pieces, background elements, so not going to complain to have that. Uh, oh, and I know what this arm goes to now. It's for this, um, and I don't think I have the rest of the parts to it, but it's the exploding super battle droid. It's the one that you like push the button and everything, you know, blows up. It's cool. Um, and we got another, uh, dismembered figure. Again, most of these, I bought this lot for like next to nothing. I think it was like 10 bucks. So most of this stuff, I don't care if the, uh, the parts aren't quite there. I was just wanting the custom fodder, like that comma and some of the other figures. I don't really care if I get a bunch of crappy figures like this. Yes, that C-3PO body and head went with Chewbacca. They went in his like satchel, not the satchel bag, but the, uh, the backpack during Empire Strikes Back. Oh, dang. I didn't realize that that Tuscan was uh, was worth a lot. Because I think of... When I think of, like, Attack of the Clones figures, the more, like, pre-posed, like, like this magnificent thing, um, this, like, anime-styled Padme Amidala that has really weird articulation, I don't think of it as a valuable figure. This is, like... Uh, a dollar figure. This is the kind of thing if I go to like a toy show or a flea market, this is in the dollar box, you know. And that's what a lot of the Attack of the Clones figures became because they weren't as popular. Um, but that's interesting to know about the Tuscan. I'm I'm glad I got a even better deal than I expected, I suppose. Um, but then we have this Arc Trooper, which uh, is custom fodder as well. I might like see if I can take the head off and Again, use it as like prop dressing, but the body is completely shot, and there's no point in uh, really messing with it because it's really one of the worst clone molds we ever got. So, not worried about that, but that's cool. Cool to have. Um, man, there's a lot of arms and hands and like body parts in this in this lot. It's quite odd. We have another C-3PO face, the arms to General Grievous, the Arc Trooper arm, um, a broken clone hand, a broken human hand. That's not so good. Um, a broken Anakin torso. I think that's... Wow, that's a power stance. That is a, a very powerful, like, disco pose right there. I appreciate that. 
Um, was that, oops, bumped the camera. Was that for this Kit Fisto? It must have been for the Kit Fisto because you got this and then you got his broken head and there we go. Kit Fisto after he faced Palpatine. Oh no. Somebody insert the, uh, um, insert the, uh, the dead Yoda Lego meme, like, Arr! and that's, he, he died a, he died a, uh, a Lego death apparently. But honestly, um, no, I will not send you any clones, JCC2224. You have too many clones as it is. That's right. I said it. We're having an intervention. That's what this live stream actually is. Um, yeah, this actually could be kitbashed onto a figure. I think it's got a good sculpt. So uh, that's, a, uh, that's another good, uh, a good sculpt for customs. Again, custom lot, custom fodder lot. I'm going to move this light really quick. Oh no, he's become the very thing he swore to destroy. JCC has become a clone beggar. Oh no, we'll have to turn him into this. This is a figure that I actually didn't know existed as well. And, okay, hang on a second, hang on. 2004, and I thought, I legitimately thought that this was a, uh, a Force Link figure because it's 5 POA and... I mean, it's got like a good sculpt, um, and it's uh, it's horrifying. The head sculpt is horrifying. Um, yeah, I'm trademarking that before you get a chance to use that in a video. Clone beggar is now uh, trademarked to uh, Rust Belt Collector. It is uh, it's trademarked. Um, but yeah, this is you can uh, you can literally destroy Anakin. He can turn into like the the, the oh you know this probably came with a playset. I bet this came with like the the playset where he becomes Darth Vader because you can pop these arms off. Yeah, is this a crosshair uh, cosplay? Um, is it? Is it? Spoilers for uh, Bad Batch episode eight or whatever. But you can swap his arms, and so there's probably like a robe that would go over it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'll have to do some research on like Jedi business or something and see what I can figure out. It did. It didn't actually. It came with extra limbs and a cloak. Okay, so yeah, like, it's uh, it's a weird figure. It's kind of cool because again, if you wanted to do like a Darth Vader diorama where he's becoming Darth Vader, he's getting all the armor chopped onto his body. I mean, this is the perfect figure for it. You don't need a bunch of articulation. You need a good sculpt, and this one has it. So, oh, thank you, Dopamus Prime. I love your name because that is pretty dope. Ha 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 ha! ha punny ha ha. Um, yeah, there's a Anakin hand. Could be useful, could not be. Another arm that, oh, that, that goes to, uh, Captain, ooh, he is, he's grimy. I'm not going to touch that anymore. That is completely grimy. We have a really, really messed up lightsaber hand. I never liked these where they were, like, molded together, because you can see the paint is coming off of the hand, and it's transparent blue, so that's kind of gross. And uh, some more some more random body parts. I think this is a complete Attack of the Clones Zam Wessel. This is a Zam Wessel with a brim. Um, and these parts and stuff. And there's this, uh, this for the Rebel Trooper. Don't care for the figure. Could use this on a custom. You know how it goes. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, you wouldn't lose those saber hands um, if you were... Uh, if you were playing with the figures or something. Got a chain as well, which is cool. I think this went with like the Tusken Raider Mastiff or whatever they're called. So again, useful prop dressing, cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Uh, we have a prototype Boba Fett without, a, without anything on his waist. He is cool. Um, yeah, I like this figure, but I think again, he's just custom fodder. And how many times will I say that in one like five minute t chunk of time, but yeah, he's, he's a cool figure. He's got some good sculpting and he's got plenty of uh, elements that I can use for custom. So there's that. And there's slash attack Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's, uh, he's special. This was a special time for Hasbro toy making where you got, um, this, which, as a kid, would be amazing. I am not going to lie. Like, I don't really care that this isn't articulated because 
this is when toys were made for, for kids. And it was a, a thing if you had the lightsaber hand. That's probably what the one is that I discarded. But, you know, you had your Anakin, your Obi-Wan, and you're a kid and you're just doing this and, like, slashing them together. That's awesome. There's nothing better than a good toy. I think nowadays Hasbro and so many other toy companies have to cater to collectors and people that are, you know, wanting accurate molds and sculpts and stuff. And I, I like that stuff, don't get me wrong. But as a kid, going to a store, this is what this is what you wanted. You wanted something that could just be like, oh, look, Zam Wessel is trying to uh, kill Padme. Oh, not not on my watch. Oh, and yeah, it's it's cool. I don't know. I like that kind of stuff. And, you know, I think kids nowadays probably would too. Oh, and then this is something I posted on Instagram. Um, this is my cursed figure. This is a uh, comic pack Luke Skywalker. I think it's from uh, I think it's from Splinter of a Mind's Eye, the uh, the first novel released after Star Wars. And he came with this cool harness. I'm not going to bother putting it on him. I'm going to use this for a custom figure definitely because it has the cool holster and everything. But his hand is unfortunately broke off inside the wrist, and uh, so I made him into <laughs> I made him into uh, uh, this lovely, lovely little creature. Just so, so lovely. The one thing I couldn't figure out though is what this mask went to. I assumed it was the Attack of the Clones uh, Zam Wessel, but it it apparently doesn't really fit that well. Like it wasn't really engineered. You can kind of see, um, it doesn't really go on this figure. So I thought maybe this is from the vintage collection, Zam Wessel. Uh, but I don't know for sure. I don't know my, uh, my bounty hunters as well as I thought. I mean, I, I knew it went to Zam. So chat, you can, uh, you can sit down. I knew it went to Zam Wessel, but I just, I, <laughs> don't, that, that could be a good thumbnail right there. Maybe we could just you know, pause it right there. Epic unboxing haul with, <laughs> with, the, with Zam Wessel featuring Zam Wessel. And uh, yeah, there's another character. Cool, uh, cool belt that I'll probably cut off this figure and use for a custom. Just nice fodder as usual. A perfectly good Commander Bakara. There is nothing at all wrong with this figure, and uh, I'm not going to complain about having another Bakara because if you look at uh, Revenge of the Sith, if you look in the background, there are multiple Commander Bakaras. They reused his model in Revenge of the Sith, and so presumably he does not actually have a unique armor set. He is just, I mean, he's the commander, but he doesn't, it's like a, I don't know what to say. It is a, um, a version of clone troopers in the uh, 21st Nova Corps. So it's, uh, it's cool. I like him. I like his design. I, I always loved this like cold weather armor because it looked like it was a phase two helmet with just armor over top of it. So that's cool. I like it. I'm happy with that. And we have uh, this Droidica, another one that I really... I really didn't know that this existed either. I thought that this was the one with like the missile launchers underneath. And then when I got it, I realized that this is one with a wire. This is a wire in there and you can, you can roly poly it. Basically you can actually do a proper droidica. I mean, it's not perfect because in the movies it's CGI and they can do, make it do whatever they want. But it's like, if you had the, uh, the top piece, it would actually be almost a perfectly rolled up destroyer. And, I had no idea that they made that either. I'm assuming Revenge of the Sith uh, era, but it may have been like Attack of the Clones or uh, actually here. Let's look at the uh, 1998. Oh, wow. So this is actually from Phantom Menace. That's cool. Didn't know they uh, didn't know they made that. He's uh, he's headless, but he's still he's still able to roll out of the screen and over there. So yeah, there's that. And of course we can't forget how cool these figures were. And I still, I still love that they made a Tusken Raider that you can cut its head off of. I really do appreciate that. Uh, and I do apologize that I am not keeping up with chat as well as I should, but I will try and go back through and uh, address anything that I can. Is six named clones too many in my custom battalion? I don't think that's too many because I already have like four or five in my battalion and I have many more, a million more on the way. I have many more uh, planned. So I don't think it's too many. It's really up to you, however many you want and uh, 
however many characters you want to have. And I wish I had the other leg for this because this is cool. It's a, uh, what, what's the name of this? It's not Micro Machines. It's the other one, Action Fleet. It's the Action Fleet ATST. I had one of these as a kid and I don't know whatever happened to it. So um, for now, it's a wrecked ATST, but it is a cool, it's a cool thing to get. It's cool to get in like a $10 lot and then you just toss it in a box until someday down the road, maybe you find um, other parts to it. And I've had that happen on multiple occasions. In fact, I even had it happen on a live stream where I found the arm to a Kashyyyk Trooper in a Lego box. So you never know. You, you hang out of these things. Sometimes you find the parts to them. And it's one of the, like the most satisfying, satisfying moments in life. Uh, what's the grail? Oh, you'll have to wait one more box to unbox. And then we get to the grail. And I'm very, very excited to reveal that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm baiting you guys. I know. I'm... I'm doing that, but I have to. I don't actually have to. I want to. And then there's this hand, which I think is a uh, young Tuscan hand. I just found that on the table, so that's neat. Hmm. Uh, then we got this, and this is the second mail hall. This isn't all of it. This is just the two figures that are boxed in this mail hall, and I would just like to say that the amount that I paid for for this second lot, this second haul, um, it's basically the, the amount that these are worth. I don't plan to open them necessarily. Um, I don't really care for Count Dooku, uh, but I do actually kind of like this one. Either way, oh, that's Leia's arm. I am uh, mistaken. I'm glad that, you, glad that you noticed that. I need to do what with Dooku's head? Oh, <laughs> pop off Dooku's head so it's more movie accurate. Uh, no, I'd rather not, because he's in the card, and can we just appreciate how amazing this card art was? The Clone Wars line had one of the better designs. I didn't appreciate the game. Um, it's kind of a dopey game that I doubt anyone actually played, and there's a secret code inside that probably doesn't do anything anymore, unfortunately, but it'd be cool if it did, if you could, like, mail these in. I remember as a kid, I would read comic books, the old, like, paper comic books, and they'd have, you know, mail away for 3D glasses or mail away for, you know, a cap gun or something. And I always wanted to just mail them in and see if I would actually get anything back. Never did that, but uh, this is the kind of same thing where it's like you wonder, you wonder what is, uh, if you mailed it in and you like added like a little sob story to it. Like, oh, I'd really love this. Uh, maybe they would send you something. Um I knew dudes in China that played that game, and it actually looked pretty fun. And they said it was a bit tactical. Interesting. So, I mean, maybe maybe kids did play it. I never knew anyone that did. But then again, I didn't know too many kids that actually got into the three and three quarter inch Star Wars the way that I did. So, you know, it's it's whatever. It's not. A, I'm not a great test audience for that. But on the back of this figure, you've got three amazing figures. Boba's cool, but. I wish I could get these, Draw and Quinlan Voss and Embo. I love Embo. He's a, I think he's on the stone mold. Anyways, I don't know. Figures, cool. I like the uh, the zombie Geonosians. That was actually a very terrifying, um, a very terrifying series or uh, arc of stories. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. I need to figure out how to put this box. Well. I'm just gonna do like the old reach the hand in and uh, drop stuff on the on the table here. Cause this is another, this isn't so much a fodder lot as it is just random stuff. And one of the cool random things is this, another one that I really didn't know about until recently. It's a can cell from, uh, from Revenge of the Sith. And it's got like a wire tail and I think the wings are in the box. So we'll get there eventually, but like, it's a can cell. You see it for like 10 seconds in Revenge of the Sith. And isn't that cool? It's a giant bug. And so there's that. And we have Iron Mick. Mick Punchy. <laughs> Mick Punchy Iron. Oh, it's Burger King. I'm sorry. I, I was making a McDonald's joke, but this is actually this is actually a Burger King. So I think I just crossed uh, franchises and now they're going to sue me for uh, slander. So that's cool. Iron Man. And we have holographic Obi-Wan Kenobi. I am terrified of even moving his joints because I feel like this guy will explode. 
He probably would actually, because I had a uh, holographic Commander Cody in the same in the same line, I think, and uh, he basically erupted into broken broken plastic. And I think the helmet was fine because it was like the softer plastic, but anything on the torso just boom, it exploded. Uh, this is weird. This is a orange lightsaber, it appears, or maybe. I don't know. I don't know what that is. We'll uh, we'll see what that is. <clears throat> we have a cape. Very cool. Oh, we'll look at that in a second. That looks cool. We have another base. I do like these uh, terrain bases that came out with the uh, early figures. I think this is like Revenge of the Sith line as well. I love these bases. They take up a lot of room on the display shelf, but it's still really uh, preferred over just like the normal... I don't know, the normal Star Wars bases or like the Saga bases where they have the names. I like those better. Oh, and then we take a trip down memory lane. I used to look at these as a kid. I think, Adrian, you were saying, uh, sorry, AOS Customs, you were saying something on your story recently where you're like, you know, you used to look at these as a kid because you couldn't buy them, but you could at least enjoy them. Same here. I never had like 99% of any of these figures, but I would look at these every single day, seemingly as a kid, and I would just be like, oh man, that would be cool to get. And that would be cool. Uh, would Wait, would I be scared or happy about what? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, Bugs can't aim. And then Jill Nobi Wan. Would you be scared or happy? Scared or happy about what? I don't know. I'm trying to keep up. Kids read Playboy, legends read 2000s toy instructions. <laughs> that's that's a solid. I, you guys are you guys are on it with the uh with the with the chat today. I really appreciate that. Um I cut them out and use them as micro machine figures. That's actually a great idea. I mean, they're about the right size for that. So I mean, you know, you stick them on some cardboard. One of these days I'll have to show you guys um Somewhere in my like in my junk drawer or something, I have an original Lay's potato chip sticker of a clone trooper that I taped onto a piece of cardboard to make a little trading card. Because back in like you know, 2004, they had this giveaway with the Lay's chips where if you found a Yoda sticker, you got like a trip to Florida. And I only ever got clone troopers and I was A-OK -okay with that because I didn't care about the rest of them. And uh all I wanted was clone troopers. So I think I've got maybe two of them. I gotta, I gotta look and see. Oh, we got another one. It's probably the same exact, yeah, it's the same exact one, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain about that. It's like someday when I'm 80, this is going to be uh, like ephemera. It's going to be a piece of paper that's actually valuable because, uh, what in the world? Oh, that's, I think that's like to someone. Um, imagine that, it's to someone. We have a super battle droid. That is another one of those exploding super battle droids. Cool. We have a broken Jedi belt. Amazing. We have this, which is General Grievous's cape. Um, it's kind of ironic that I'm getting like the exploding super battle droid and some capes and stuff that would go with that fodder lot that we just looked at when um, it's not it's not the same lot. It's a separate lot. We got another one of these. This is going definitely with my. Um, with my Revenge of the Sith army build, that is my main army build right now. And something I just noticed, I literally just noticed in this live stream, is that these interlock the same way that the uh, Coruscant base plates do. They have little, like, nubs that they interlock with, which I think is really cool. Um, I guess now I can interlock my Kashyyyk, uh, Kashyyyk diorama pieces a little bit better. And then that one, like, I don't know how that one interlocks. That one probably interlocks with that side. Anyways, um, yeah, and we have Darth Maul. Darth, Darth freaking Maul with uh, no lightsabers. So he's useless and also not posable. So I'm not sure what exactly that went with, but there we go. Another handful. Okay, we got scotch-taped General Grievous that I think is one of the ones that blows up, and yep, it blows up. That's cool. It's just taped. Nice. And then we have, oh, Darth, Darth Cake Topper. You're probably not wrong, honestly. 
Um, we have more droid parts, which I love, and I would love it if Disney brought back, or Hasbro brought back, the Build-A-Droid series, because how cool was it that you could build a droid in, like, what, what did it take? It took one, two, three, four figures, and you'd get a, a full figure. How cool was that? Very cool. That's the answer. Oh, we've got another one of these, my favorite figures. I can't wait to army build Bail Organa. Um, yeah, that's going to apparently be happening now. Apparently, I'm going to be army building uh, Senator Bail Organa. And this is the Phantom Menace version. For those of you that might be curious to know, this is not his Revenge of the Sith appearance. And then this is his, is his uh, Sith persona. This is Darth Borgana. I don't think I have a sense of humor anymore. Anyways, um, we have Anakin here, and uh, this one is kind of cool because he's got, like, the vintage, like, lightsaber style, right? So it's like the old 1970s figures. I thought that this may have been, like, a McDonald's toy because it is so janky, but it's actually, it's not, it's a Hasbro figure. Um, and, oh, wait a second, don't... Anakin, don't do that. That is very 1939 Germany of you. Um, we're going to keep him over there. He's he's on timeout. We have a DC-15. We have a uh, clone trooper helmet that's out of focus. A very janky one, so I'm going to guess that's an early, early uh, Clone Wars, or not Clone Wars, early Attack of the Clones helmet. And then we have little Ahsoka. Yep. That's little Ahsoka. That's not. It's a youngling from Attack of the Clones. Um, and it's a cool figure. I, I, yeah, whatever. I'm not sure what I'll do with a youngling. And wait a second. Is that, is that supposed to be like a youngling lightsaber? I don't think they would have orange lightsabers. Maybe this isn't even a lightsaber. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Oh, no, he's in his peasant outfit. Yeah, that's actually another thing. That's inaccurate. That's the, uh, that's the Attack of the Clones, uh, like when he's on uh, Naboo. So he never even wielded a lightsaber in this outfit, but he's over here like, yes, we'll save the galaxy one, one extendable lightsaber at a time. Very nice. Very, very nice. That's meant to be with Darth Maul you have. Um, Ashla was actually going to... Ahsoka, I assume... Oh, wait, Ashla was going, actually going to be Ahsoka. George also toyed with the idea of CGIing over Ashla's face to make her look like Ahsoka. Oh, is that, they have a name. Okay, like every character in Star Wars has a name at this point. They just went all out and they're like, oh, look, character in the background. Oh, they have a name. So that's interesting. So that is Ashla, um, the, uh, the child that isn't Ahsoka. This is a thing. I think this came... Did this come with, like, the the Mustafar sets? I don't know what this even came with. I, I think it's Star Wars. I do I do think it's Star Wars. But that goes in the, uh, I don't know, kind of weird pile, which is that pile over there. Oh, and then, oh, <laughs> we got another one of these. I swear that these are from different people, these two lots. They are different lots, and they have the same figures. We have another attack Obi-Wan Kenobi. This one in better condition. He's not yellowed. But he's still missing his lightsaber, so maybe we'll find that. In the meantime, we'll give him this uh, Anakin hand. There we go. Perfect. And we'll give him a, a DC-15. Because why wouldn't you give Obi-Wan Kenobi a DC-15 when you have the opportunity to do so? Oh, oh but all of his hands are falling out. Okay. Oh, you don't see any clones? You don't see any clones? There's a clone for you. Aren't you a little short for a clone trooper? Galactic Marines. Or Galactic... I am going to end this live stream now. Uh, Galactic Heroes uh, was actually kind of a cool line because it had clone troopers and it had some like concept art clone troopers that we never got in actual like figure form. So he is... Kind of cool. It's a it's a two twelfth, and I I now have a two twelfth that uh, that 
uh, JCC2224, he, he doesn't have all the 212th. I have one, so he can't have all the 212th. I will forever keep this one so that he'll never be able to have all of the 212th. That's, that's my life mission now. I'm just going to be the man that has one 212th, and that means... Oh, wait, there we go. That's, this is my new army build. It's just going to be Galactic Hero 212th with, um, with Obi-Wan Kenobi and his DC-15. And actually, this isn't Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is uh, Obi-2-1 Obi Kenobi. Anyways, um, I need to stop trying to do that. Then we have pet hair mixed with nasty polyester, and I'm not even going to mess with that. Then we have another one of these Luke Skywalkers. Again, this is a different lot, and I'm getting the exact same figures. It's, oh, it's amazing. I'm actually kind of finding this to be humorous in the sense that I got these like separate weeks, and they're all like the same. It's really kind of bizarre. A little bit, a uh, little bit freaky. And there's another Anakin hand. And there's a Duros. Another galactic hero, uh, one of the guys from the cantina. Because every kid, every like three year old, is thinking, you know, those two space people from the uh, the cantina. Those are what I really want as a kid. I mean, I just can't wait to get my Duros space smuggler action figures. Those are going to be awesome. And you know what? It is. It's really awesome. And then finally, finally, we have a clone trooper, a proper one. It's a, uh, um, yeah, it's Attack of the Clones. It's an Attack of the Clones clone captain. And uh, I sound like an original. Do not call me one of the original 96 people because I could care less about the original 96. I mean, I think that it would be cool if they eventually did get around to it just because I think Hasbro needs to make more figures than they currently are. But I don't care necessarily that they actually make original figures. I care more that we get the figures from the shows that are currently existing. Like, like maybe we should get, I don't know, the Bad Batch characters in Vintage Collection. That would be kind of neat, Hasbro, if we got, like, all of them. And, um, yeah, this is actually still a very cheap Clone Trooper. And it's pretty solid. I mean, this came out during Attack of the Clones. It's got the pose down. It looks like, you know, on Geonosis when they're all, like, hip-firing at the droids. It's accurate. It's cool. It's a little bit yellowed. It's not the best, but it's still pretty solid, and I'm I'm happy with it. I mean, I'll I'll probably keep him somewhere. I'm not gonna just throw him away. He's a a solid clone figure, and for people nowadays trying to get a ten dollar clone trooper, you can uh, you can go with this. I will say though, I still have gotten ten dollar clone troopers uh, when I buy like a lot, or you can talk to AOS Customs about getting cheap clone troopers because he's an expert at that, but. It typically is not going to be you can buy a single individual clone trooper for $10. Not today, probably not ever again, sadly. Uh, my fodder box has Gucci pieces for some reason, like Clone Wars, rocket launchers, and an ARC trooper backpack. I mean, that's actually pretty sick, if you, uh, if you ask me. I don't think I have anything like that in any of my fodder boxes. Has anyone made like a paratrooper clone... If not, then would that be a good idea for a custom or no? Um, I think it's a great idea for a custom. I personally have a design that I need to make for my custom legion, but that's not to say that you shouldn't make your own. I mean, people do paratroopers all the time. Um, in fact, the airborne troopers are meant to be like paratroopers. So yeah, go for it. It doesn't matter if someone else has done it because, uh, you know, just make it your own. There's no reason to, that two people can't have paratrooper clone troopers. Um, yeah, flea markets is a great place to find, uh, clone troopers. There's a flea market this weekend that I plan to go to, and I'm really, really hopeful that there are some really cool deals because I've gotten some good deals before. I've gotten like, oh, I got, I got uh, a proxy from Forced Unleashed. I got proxy for 50 cents and that's like a 40 or $50 figure. And it was in perfect condition. So you can find you can find uh, some good deals on the on the rare occasion. You just got to look for them, you know? You got to be patient. <clears throat> there is another youngling. I, I'm never going to know what his name is, uh, or like I don't know off the top of my head, rather. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's him. It, he, it's, uh, it's a guy with tusks. 
still a cool, I mean like these, I think I've said cool way too much in this video, but uh, it's, these are cool figures. Like they're really nicely sculpted. You don't expect a lot of uh, choopy moon. No, no, it's not. Shut up. <laughs> Though that does sound like a Star Wars name. I almost said it. And if anyone says like Joe or something in the comments, you're not going to get me. Don't worry. Um, no, you did not miss the big, the big reveal. This is still, um, this is still a, the second lot that I got. There was a, a fodder lot initially, and then there's this lot of like fodder and various figures, and then we'll get to the Holy Grail. And, um, yeah, thank you for reminding me, uh, JCC, uh, these guys are all dead now because Anakin killed them. And when did he kill them? I just noticed this. He killed them right about here. I had no idea that they made this, but this is uh, the hologram from from Revenge of the Sith, and it's all about you know. Oh, I can't, I can't watch anymore. Anakin's killing younglings. Oh no, oh I can't take it anymore. I'm just gonna punch the hologram until it goes away. Make it stop. Oh no. It kind of looks three D printed, honestly. Like, that actually does look 3D printed the way that these are, uh, like, geometric or or what have you. It's very rough. It's not a smooth, rounded shape. I don't know. Interesting. If you open the box and our face doesn't... Oh, your face will melt off. Believe me. This is... I When I say Holy Grail, I do not take that lightly. There are only like really two holy grails in my mind that I've ever had in my collection or like wanted to have in my collection for the three and three quarter inch Star Wars. The first one was the Kashyyyk comic pack. And when I got that, let's just say I was very, very happy. And that is still like one of the pinnacles of my collection. This is the second pinnacle. And I don't know which one I like better. I think that they are apples to oranges, but they are both awesome. So we'll get into this very shortly. There's a test dummy head, so that's cool. I think that is. Otherwise, it's just... Oh, wait. Excuse me. I know what this is. It's uh, it's Echo from Bad Batch. <laughs> like, it actually kind of could be Echo uh, with the, the cybernetic and everything. Um, yeah, nice. That'll be custom fodder. <laughs> um, yeah, the Kashyyyk pack now is going for like $300 to $700. I've seen them go for all over. Just depends on what people list them at, really. And it hurts. It really hurts because, like, two years ago, it was going for 75 And, I mean, that's the way the market goes, but it went sky high right after I bought it. So I'm glad that I did because otherwise I would probably never have it. I would never own the Kashyyyk pack if, if I hadn't gotten it that day at the uh, Super Ohio Toy Show. So... Thank you very much, JCC2224, because that's where we met up. We, like, hung out for the day, and then you're the one that told me, hey, uh, the toy department has it, and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to add another hour to my trip then and go get it because I will never see it again. And I, I haven't. I have not seen it since. Anyways, um, yeah, I kind of glossed over some of these things. Anakin's poncho, a 212th Clone Wars figure from like the 2008 mold or the 2009 mold where it's got a much more accurate helmet. I personally prefer this one to the uh, the other one. I don't know. Yeah, you, honestly, um, anybody that got a figure, you know, as a kid and kept it until now, they've basically they've basically made more money than if they put money in a savings account right now. Like clone troopers are, are able to rise in price no matter how the dollar inflates. It's, it's amazing. And yeah, we don't talk about Adrian and his army builds because we just don't. He has too many Kashyyyk troopers uh, because I don't have them. So that's too many. Too many Kashyyyk troopers, Adrian. Hand them over. Anyways, another handful from the bag, and we have uh, C-3PO's arm. You may not have recognized it because it is a red arm. Anyways, um, and then we have Clone Wars Padme, and it's as hideous as you would expect. The one thing that I never liked was how they animated faces in the Clone Wars, and Padme was no exception, and all the characters were no exception. The aliens and the clones were okay, but um, yeah... You will never get my Kashyyyk Troopers, Adrian. I need them for my army build, as it were. And 
oh, we don't need to divulge the time where you got all of those ones from that guy. And, uh, oh, man, he, you got them for an amazing price, and I didn't. So I will forever be salty because they're not in my collection. Um, let's see. How does this actually go on? There we go. So now we have a one-winged cancel. I can't stand up all these figures. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work. Let's see. I believe, I believe that this, okay, this is either from Star Wars and it's a staff for the bounty hunter, the like Amon Amon or whatever his name is. It could be that, or this is from Pirates of the Caribbean. And I'm not sure which which one it is. I'm gonna guess it's the Amonamon because of like the way the staff is shaped. But it could be. Oh, you're saying correct. I'm going to go with yay. Um, yeah, that's cool. So there's that, and there's I think this is like a Roblox arm or something. It looks like a giant Lego hand. Focus, dude. There we go. It looks like a Roblox arm. Don't want that. Then we have an actual Ahsoka in the Galactic Heroes line with a very limited range of articulation, but uh, that's pretty cool. And you can have it um, next to next to the 212th. That's fairly accurate size-wise. Although, actually, you know, this might not be Galactic Heroes. This might be the replacement line. Um, whatever that was, I can't remember. It wasn't... It was like Play School Mates or something like that. I don't know. It was kind of weird. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to keep up with... Speaking of rare Holy Grails, I have the bad luck of losing defensive Camino Echo and just saw him listed somewhere going over 50 bucks. Some clones go for stupid high. Yeah, the anything right now goes for insanely high prices compared to what they were even like a year or two ago. You know, people started having some extra money to throw around during the whole, you know, stay at home and everything. And that's when we started to see the figures just go straight through the roof, like, it's it's crazy. I'm happy for people that have the collection, but uh, it's it's unfortunate for people, especially kids, trying to get into the collecting game now, um, or not even collecting. Like kids aren't collecting. Kids just want clone troopers because they saw the Clone Wars, and I don't blame them. Um, unfortunately, they have no access to them now. There's the can cell. Very cool. I wonder if we have that Yoda figure. I think the Ahsoka is from the original Galactic Heroes line. Um, I just got my Grails, the Pikachu Game Boy Advanced SP, not Star Wars, but I've always wanted it. Well, that's awesome. Um, yeah, that's really cool. I don't know much about Pokemon, but I think that, hey, if it's something that you really want and you got it, good for you, man. Um, and then there's this arm. I think this is from something like a Build-A-Droid, maybe. I don't know. That's cool. Somebody can hopefully identify it, because I'm not the best at identifying every little obscure piece. Um, no, oh, here we go. This is... This is, might as well just be a poster. I want, oh, it is a poster. There we go. Oh, man. Galactic Heroes poster with the, like, well, it's kind of a combination of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, but that is absolutely amazing. This is why I love just finding the random pieces of paper from these sets. You know, you get such good content. Like, they, they pack these in with things, and you can actually hang them on your wall and stuff. And there's all these, the variety of packs that you could get. I know like the Clone Trooper ones are really cool and that's obviously awesome with uh, Obi-Wan and the 212th. And then you got Captain Jag and Plo Koon. Yeah, it's awesome. The one thing that I'm actually just kind of bummed about when it comes to this toy line was that they never finished Delta Squad. They ended up making two members of Delta Squad. They made Boss and Fixer and they never made Sev or Scorch. And that always, that always bummed me out, you know? Um, let's see. Where's Han? Must be from Shadows of the Empire. That's why it's a mix of... Oh, yeah. I, it's, a, it's weird how that advertising went, but I'm sure somebody, you know, somewhere just was told to throw some characters on screen. Uh, let's see. There's, wow, there's still more in this box. I thought I was getting to the bottom of it, and I don't think that I am. So we'll try and move this along a little bit more briskly. Uh, there's a stick. There's another cancel wing, which... I don't know if it matters which way they go. I think you can just kind of like, I don't know. Sure, we'll put them on there. Then we have the Star Wars Empire. 
I can honestly say that I really want the Eminem clone trooper. I don't care about the other ones. I think there's like Eminem, Darth Vader, and Anakin, and maybe Obi-Wan, but I really, really want that clone trooper. And I think this may have even been the base form because it's the red Eminem, and I know the clone trooper is the red Eminem in that figure line. So I don't think it's in this box, though, sadly. I think it's just the base. And there's tubes that go to something, probably a play set. We have another Kashyyyk, um, another Kashyyyk base, which is cool because now I can test out my theory that these, yeah, they, okay, so I am totally going to put a bunch of these on my shelf, my Kashyyyk army build shelf, because that is, that is amazing. Like, look at that. That is so cool. I didn't realize that they did that until literally just now. That is going to be amazing. Oh, force jump Obi-Wan tubes. There we go. So we've got parts to that guy. No lightsaber yet, but parts to him. I'd love to finish off the Galactic Heroes clone troopers. Only missing like four, I think. Yeah, hey, if you send me a list of which four you're missing, I will take a look. Um, I don't own any, but I'll take a look at like the flea market when I go this weekend. Because I think Galactic Heroes tend to pop up insanely frequently at like garage sales and stuff. So send me that list of which four you're looking for and maybe I can help you out. And if not, Jar Jar Binks will come to your house and say, Misa, going to rob you now. And then he force chokes you. Where's, there we go, there we go. Oh, this is, this is perfect. This is perfect, guys. The grail is actually Jar Jar Binks. I lied. It's this Attack of the Clones Jar Jar Binks with an orange lightsaber, limited edition, very rare, very hard to find. Uh, only released it in one store in the U.S., literally one store, not like one specific store, but it was released only in like one little corner store in uh, Columbus, Ohio, and that's that's where you could get this one. That's right, Columbus, Ohio. You didn't realize how cool Ohio was until you saw that General Grievous with the rare limited edition orange lightsaber. Okay, so you are missing <clears throat> normal ARF trooper or ARF trooper, waxer, boil, and the gunner, I think. Excellent. I will uh, make note of that. And then we have this. Covered in animal hair, covered in potentially human hair, disgusting as all get out, we have 30th Anniversary, Force Ghost, Anakin Skywalker, the uh, Hayden Christensen version, not the, uh, not the whatever the other actor's name is. And it's cool. It's also made out of transparent plastic, which means it's probably freaking brittle as all get out it has a lightsaber which i don't think is canonically accurate and it glitters it has so much glitter that it's actually kind of amazing i didn't think that i would actually like this figure and i kind of do like i've never i don't think i've ever had one of these um or even like been in a position to you know handle it and see what it's all about i'm guessing that all these joints are stuck because it's like getting more brittle so i don't really want to pose it a whole bunch but I mean, just look at that. That is, he's he's looking fabulous. He's ready to go out like on the town in Las Vegas and do bad Elvis impressions. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Even his, okay, so even his legs are like transparent. That's groovy. That figure has the Jedi robe lingerie. Mm, yes, don't, ooh, don't look at me. Mm, I'm Anakin Skywalker, the flirtatious Anakin. Hmm, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Is that gold dust? I mean, it's like just golden fabric, and it's kind of, uh, you know, it's transparent fabric. I don't think it's actually gold dust. It's just uh, golden glitter. Then we have uh, um, this guy. General, oh, is this General Nita? General Nita? Or it's not, it's not General Dudana. It's not Crix Nadine. I think it's, why is there a hair stuck to it? It's like, I want to say it's Nita. I want to say it's Nita, but I don't know for sure. Um, he's yellowed, and he's he's uh, Riken. Okay, Blaine Hoover. Blaine Hoover, you are amazing. You know all the character names that I do not, because I'm just like a Hoth general guy who is like, hmm, start up the shield generator and fire the ion cannon, and that's all I know him from. But honestly, it's kind of surprising that he still has the rubber bands on his uh, on his hand there. And he's yellowed to all get out on the torso because that's like the hard plastic that always yellows. But uh, it almost <laughs> it almost blends in with the character because his uniform is kind of a yellowish tan to begin with. But there's that. There's a random blaster. There is Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber hilt. 
I, you know, I don't, I don't blame you one bit. I don't know if, I don't know. I grew up as a kid and I hyper fixated on Star Wars growing up. So I could tell you like just about every clone trooper name and it's unhealthy to the degree that I can do that. Um, I don't necessarily know if I would get diagnosed with ADHD that I've, though I've often wondered, I, I genuinely have because I've never been to a doctor for it, but my attention span is about as short as can possibly be along with other, anyways, other symptoms and stuff. It's fun. Um, it's fun dealing with that at work and stuff, but, uh, we finally have a lightsaber for Obi-Wan Kenobi and it's so amazing that he's just, oh, oh no, he, he got too excited and he broke his hand off. There we go. Jump attack Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then we have a figure that actually would be kind of cool if it had its hands. Padme Amidala. Um, it was, wait, it was Pond, Ponda Baba's. Ponda Baba's blaster. That is also very useful. Ponda Baba blaster. I know, actually, and I do know who Ponda Baba is. It's the Cantina guy. Um, so that's good to know. He might be in this lot. This is one of the ones that was like, this is cool because this is one of the, like my favorite things about certain bundles of figures is mystery bags. And this is a mystery bag. I don't really know what is all in here. I know kind of like what was on the outside of the bag and then it was shipped to me. And so I kind of get to be surprised. So like this figure is cool. I hope the hands are in there. I don't actually know if they are or not. So there's, there's that. There's Padme. And then we have another one of these. Um, oh, it's ripped. That's disappointing. Wookiee Warrior, Tian Madon, I don't know how to say his name, General Grievous, excuse me, um, and then I, uh, Anakin Starfighter, and uh, other stuff, lightsabers, we all had those as kids, and we bent them to crap. Okay, so there's more, I'm going to just, off to the side here, oh, Darth Vader, oh, hitting the camera. Let's just move everything out of the box. And out of the bag onto the table here. That way I can just access it more freely and not have problems. Hang on one second. There is some pretty cool stuff in here. So that'll be fun to talk about. Oh, and there's also dog hairs and people hairs. Oh, why, 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 why? Just, oh gosh, oh. Goodness, can you donate your stuff like cleanly, please? Oh my goodness. Anyway, there we go, that's the, uh, that bag is now empty. So let's go into what we have. We have a third, a third for this video, Luke Skywalker from Bespin with removable hand. Um, I don't know why. Who collects these? It's another army build. I have no choice in army building it. It is now written by law. We have a Darth Vader, which is cool. It appears to be like a, okay, so he's like five POA and he's another slash attack. So let's, I don't know. We'll give him this radical scooter. I think this is from the, the crash test dummies. Um, we'll give him this radical scooter and he can do some cool tricks, my guys. That's what he's going to do. Yo, dude, the Empire is pretty sick. Um, that base body should... What base body should I use for custom Jedi mail for my battalion? I would say probably a... Uh, um, what is it? Uh, like a Kit Fisto, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin, any of those work just great. Like the black series, I assume you're doing six inch. So any of those will work. I personally used a Plo Koon for my Jedi master. And then for the female Jedi master, I used a Marvel legends body. So that could be helpful. Hey, they did that. They did you a kindness. They provide you with free DNA to sell to cloning facilities. Also the Luke's are variants. Oh, I have I have variants. I could have an army build. I'm never army building these. Um, no, yeah, the the DNA that I'm getting is um, such a blessing. Such a such mm, out of the kind of you know, bless their hearts. You know that's what I like to say. Bless bless their hearts. Uh, then there's this cape, which is very nicely sculpted. I will just wait and see what is said in the comments because until then it's going to the Duros, and he can be very heroic. 
we have, oh, there we go. There we go. How does this one work? This one probably has a base somewhere. It's got really nice soft goods, which is amazing. Um, and he does like the jump trick, which I don't think... Yeah, okay, okay, so hold on. This goes to Darth Vader. I'm seeing the comments. Thank you, guys. You guys rock. You all are amazing, and I appreciate you. Um, it doesn't stay on very well, but that's okay. So now he can look even more elegant and radical as he's going around doing scooter tricks. Yeah, this. I feel like this is the Obi-Wan Kenobi that uh, broke his spine, and now he just has a metal rod going up well, going up somewhere, we don't want to talk about where it is. And it's uh, keeping him, you know, able to walk because otherwise he wouldn't be able to walk. He has a, oh man, this is, this is <laughs> up his, yeah, what is it up? Mm, we don't want to talk about it. <laughs> he's just, he's doing squats. Mm. Yes, working those buns, working your core, working your shoulders, getting those calves, getting that burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait a second. I'm sorry. Uh, YouTube, don't demonetize this. But you are right. <laughs> it's. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Um, this is this live stream has taken a a dark turn very very quickly. Not maybe a dark turn, but maybe more <clears throat> mature turn. <laughs> So we're just going to put hip thrust Obi-Wan Kenobi over here. <laughs> and, oh my goodness gracious me. That is just, oh, hmm. Um, anyways, here's Yoda and he's got a lazy eye. And this might be, hmm. I don't think this is the one that goes with the can cell because the one that would go with the can cell apparently has a, like a plug of some kind that they can... You know, not, oh, oh no, not the younglings. Think of the younglings. They, they need to learn someday. Uh, <laughs> there's this. I will once again allow the chat to identify something that I do not know. We have very angry Mace Windu. And I'm assuming, yep, yeah, he's, he's a slash attack as well, which is epic. <laughs> They, I really don't have a use for these, but they're cool. So, like, maybe these are something that I will either donate or, like, find some kid that, you know... I, I know some kids that probably would appreciate them just as pure, like, toys. You know, action figures. Um, a different... Oh, I... Why do I know that? I kind of remember that. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, that's that's cool. It's a cool little blast effect. You could put, like, a light behind it and have it be interesting. Custom delimbed mace fodder. They didn't even paint his eyes. Not where his eyes. They took my eyes. It's a good, I mean, that's a pretty good likeness though. Ultimately, like that's a good likeness and a good screaming face. It's just, they didn't paint his eyes. I know he's probably squinting, but he still has eyebrows and eyelashes. So, um, like where's where's the where's the rest of his face? Pain pain face <laughs> pain face window. I appreciate the chat so much today. You guys are on fire. Um, then we have another Tuscan Raider. This one does not come with the epic headless play feature. Kind of disappointing, honestly. Zero out of ten for this Tuscan Raider. Seems kind of lame if you ask me. I think this is the one that would hold the rifle. Yeah. Actually, no, you're, you're kind of spot on. It is kind of like acid rain. If you, uh, if you gave it like a paint wash, it would make it look very, very acid rain. All right. Uh, then we have this shock T, which is cool because now I didn't really have any of these. Like, I think I have one clone trooper that I got from a Goodwill outlet store. And so now I have like a little assortment of galactic heroes how nice. Uh, there's get, get radical Darth Vader back in there. Um, there's a guy in, uh, on Instagram that uses that window as his profile pic. I feel like I've seen it, but maybe I haven't kind of like you with your, uh, with your interesting, shall we say painted faces. And 
Yeah. Oh, and there we go. We got this. Um, is there another one? There should be. Oh, no. I dropped something. Where did it go? Oh, it was just a... Ah. It was just a broken General Grievous arm. Nothing of actual importance. But we have one of those assassin bugs from Attack of the Clones. Actually, very nicely detailed. Like, I mean, you can't really see it too well. But that's pretty sweet. I like that. Put that over there. We have Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, the, the dead variant. It was a very hard-to-find exclusive. And then... Is this, like, Yoda's... Ah got caught on my hand and fell to the ground. This is a, uh, a tunic of some kind. This might, this might go to like a Jawa because there's a Jawa as well. This is a sweet Jawa figure. So that's another reason that I'm glad I got this lot. Honestly, the, both of these lots are kind of random. They're like, why specifically did I buy them? No specific figure, just kind of a variety of figures. This Jawa is one of them. 212th Clone Wars figure, another one, and the, the value adds up throughout this. And uh, we have this really nice Han, um, Han Solo figure from Empire Strikes Back. That is, that's cool. Um, I actually didn't have this figure before, so I will, I'll keep that. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, I don't know if this is like, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess 30th anniversary, um, but I think they re-released this figure for Vintage Collection, so it could be either one, but judging by all the rest of the figures being from earlier lines, I'm going to say this is probably from, like, 30th anniversary or, yeah, probably 30th anniversary. Anyways, there's that. Um... TVC 3-pack Han. It might be, but I'm thinking that it's probably the earlier version. Um, just thinking. I have this Obi-Wan. I removed the metal thing, and it's the only Star Wars figure I have. He <laughs> he. Well, I mean, it's not a bad figure to have. It's cool. Um, and there's always room to grow any collection. I mean, one figure is still a collection, and you can absolutely get more. There's plenty of opportunities. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Are we live again? Are we back? I'm sorry about that weird interruption. Um, I should be back online now. Sound off in the uh, in the chat if I'm back and you can hear me. Something went up with my internet and it was like, oh, um, yeah. I live. Yes. Okay, good. Sweet. Thank you. I appreciate I don't know what happened. It just started buffering on my end and I was like, oh, crap. Did I? I was thinking it was Instagram, you know, like where Instagram... Um, only gives you an hour, and I was like, well, shoot, I'm at like 65 minutes. Does that, is that angering the YouTube gods, as it were? Oh, there's more hair. Gosh. Yeah. I'm not touching that ever again. Ohio strikes back. Yes, Ohio cannot contain me. They cannot contain the awesomeness of this channel. They're trying to shut me down from the inside. Always remember, Rust Belt Collector did not um, Epstein himself. <clears throat> Anyways... Uh, we have another figure base. Wow, so cool. Amazingly epic. Wow. Yoda's lightsaber. Cool. Another Mustafar base, which... Uh -huh. Get out of here, cancel. Actually, this is the Mustafar base. This is the uh, uh, Polis Massa. I mean, they're the same. They're obviously the same, but they are meant to be different planets. So get it right. There's that, and we have, oh no, I dumped everything out, so now I can officially confirm that we only have three wings for the cancel. What a bummer. What, a, what an absolute bummer. We only have the three wings. He kind of will fly a little bit crooked from now on. Um, we have a, an emerald ring. All of the Minecraft villagers are going, hmm, right now when they see that. We have one of those really, really cool, um, really cool lightsaber hilts. It's the metal ones, but this one's kind of rusty. I loved one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cancel. You're beautiful. You're, you, look at this face. You're beautiful. You're a handsome, handsome bug. You're handsome. What a, what a good bug. You go back over there. We're not talking, we're not talking about the fact that he only has three wings. Oh, got him. <laughs> Anyways, the the lightsabers are really cool when they made them in metal. They made the hilts out of metal. I think they did that for Anakin and Obi-Wan at at least one point. Then we have this uh, play-action playset where 
uh, Darth Vader cuts off the uh, cuts off the the things pylons, I guess. And we've got another M and M stand, amazing. We've got I'm saving the last two, three, four. There's four figures. I'm gonna save those for the very last part of this haul, and then we'll get to the Grail, which I'm sure a lot of people are waiting for, at least uh, hopefully. Um, we have a battle droid head. We have a little thing from the crash test dummies. We've got Anakin, or we've got Luke Skywalker's thing. Uh, we have a Clone Wars rocket launcher. Give that to wherever the clone trooper went. He went somewhere. We'll put that right there. And General Grievous's arm. General, oh, 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 I actually know what this is. I think. Oh, it's, it's gross. But it, it's General Grievous's organ sack. <laughs> this is, again, what is Hasbro doing? They actually allowed there to be organs inside of him uh, and hair, hair, which did not come with the original figure. But like, I remember um, as a kid, my buddy, my buddy had the Acle figure and I traded it off of him only to realize that you could take the, the gut panel off on his, on the underbelly of its body. And you could pull out like a, a gummy intestine. It was gross. It would get like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It was a a very squishy rubber intestine, fully molded and just packed into its chest cavity. And I, I don't know, like, what was Hasbro thinking? Like, what, what do you think it has, bro? I, I love you. I actually do. I love old Hasbro, but what in the world? Yet yeah, now with real, now with real uh, guts as a play feature. How, how cool is that? POV Grievous was forced to read through this chat. Yeah, he's, uh, he's probably sad because I'm, kind of shaming his, uh, his action figures here. I think, no, probably not. That probably does not go together, but that's cool. Oh, and we got one of these. I don't know if it matters which one, but we have like the, the training, uh, the training blast shields that doesn't fit on that one. So yeah, it goes with this one. There we go. So that's, that's actually proper. That's cool. I, I appreciate that. I'm glad that that was included. We have, ooh, another metal lightsaber, also Anakin's. We've got the head harness to a Polis Masson doctor. I guess that's kind of cool. Good custom fodder at the very least. And I think this is probably the armor that went with that clone trooper helmet, wherever that went. The, uh, the rather badly molded phase one, it's in there somewhere. And a variety of random, like, I don't even know how to describe all this stuff. A little blaster. Uh, there's Padme's blaster. I should put that with her figure. That definitely goes with this. Just so we don't lose it. There we go. There's Padme. Droid blaster. Yoda's lightsaber. More armor plating for the C-3PO from Attack of the Clones. Uh, we got a hand, two more hands. I don't think that they go to anything specific. We have Lego legs. This is actually the, uh, the exclusive honey, where are my pants pants from the Lego movie. Haha. -ha. And then we have a Playmobil $5 coin and don't spend it all in one place, kids. And finally, before we get to the last four figures, this is actually very beneficial. Where to go? Um, though not entirely beneficial because I'm still missing one arm, which is. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, hang on, hang on. We can do this. We can, we can figure this out. Where did I put all those hands? Is one of these hands for? I don't think it is. Okay, that's that's a bummer. I thought that maybe this was a hand peg hole. But it's not. So we get one arm, we slap that arm onto the figure, and we have at least a uh, semi-complete Padme. This is, uh, this is her trying to be similar to Anakin so that he would feel comforted by the fact that she was missing an arm too, you know? And then we have the last four figures from this haul. We have Biggs Darklighter from the deleted scene in A New Hope, which I absolutely love this costume for him. It's so cool. They needed more capes in the original trilogy, and 
Biggs didn't get to have his moment in the in the sun where he got a cape. And this is actually from a comic pack, I believe. It's either from a comic pack or from 30th Anniversary again, which 30th Anniversary is one of the best lines that we ever, ever got from Hasbro. Then we have this uh, monkey from Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. And the only reason I know that is because it's the only movie where there is a monkey dressed up in this fashion of clothing. And... And I think, I think this is like the new, this is the new, oh, oh, wait. Okay, so hear me out, right? Disney, Disney owns Pirates of the Caribbean and Star Wars, right? They used to make movies like the, uh, what's it called? The Incredible Journey. I now have the new Star Wars Incredible Journey. We have the Cancel, who is slightly um, handicapped. It's lesser enabled. It is missing a wing. So it's wounded. Who helps? The monkey from Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End helps it get back home. Who helps these two when they get stuck in a cave? Oh, none other than sassy, salacious Crumb. And he and the monkey ride back home forever on the cancel. That is my movie pitch. Disney, you may contact me at any time. And finally, <laughs> finally... Uh, we have another Baltar Swan, or Balter Swan, I, Balter Swan? I don't know how to pronounce the name, because you don't typically hear them spoken. Balter Swan is also kind of a rare figure, and I ironically have two of these now. I got one from a toy show fairly recently, where um, one of the guys, I think if you watch the toy hall, there was a guy there that recognized me, and I talked with him previously at the at the last one. And he was like, hey, I got this figure. I knew you'd want him, or her rather, but he was like, I knew you'd want this figure. And, you know, um, I set it aside for you. I didn't put it on the table and he sold it to me for a good deal. And now I have two. So I'll have to see which one has better paint apps. And then I will do maybe like a head swap. And um, actually, what can I, hmm. Could I put like, because this would be kind of cool. If I could take Padme's head sculpt and just do like a straight, let's see if this will work. I doubt it will, but sometimes you just get lucky. This is not one of those times. <laughs> that is, uh, this is uh, No Neck, that's their name, No Neck. And that is, the, uh, that is the name of this Jedi officially. But if you kind of, if I put like some hot glue inside the ball joint there, I could probably get it to set somewhere like there maybe a little bit higher, and that would be kind of a cool Jedi design, a unique Jedi just to have with some clone troopers and such as a display. I wouldn't mind that at all. Either way, happy to have another one of those. So definitely the highlight from this would be the Padawans, the Galactic Heroes, um, Biggs Darklighter, definitely. And I'm really glad to have more of these terrain bases because you can never have too many bases, but I prefer these over just the standard ones. So again, really happy to get those. Um, of course, we have the very rare exclusive Jar Jar. Let me guess, she falls in love with her clone commander. Listen here, Adrian. I don't want to talk about that kind of... Um, if you guys know me, if you know my Instagram, one of my pet peeves, even though I am guilty of it because I did it for my OC Legion, I told a, a story where a Jedi falls in love with one of the clone troopers. I don't want to talk about it. Um, the, uh, the thing that always gets me is every clone trooper OC design is always the same. The clone trooper is super OP. He has a Z6 rotary cannon that he used to kill Count Dooku in a one-on-one -on -one duel. And, you know, he's like super like ripped and whatever. And then he never executes Order 66. He falls in love with his Jedi Master. They, they run off into the, uh, into, the, into the unknown, and it's always the same. Not saying that everyone does that, but it's, it's a common enough trope within the custom clone trooper community that I have to be a little bit like, ah, another clone trooper who has fallen in love with his Jedi, and the love that he shares with her is so strong he won't commit Order 66 even though it's a chip now, and the chip is pretty much obviously non... Like, you're not able to resist it because Captain Rex couldn't resist it. Therefore, you, your custom clone trooper, did not resist it. I'm using a, 
this this weird figure as like a puppet now to express my feelings. <clears throat> Anyways, so let's uh, let's clear this off, right? Because we gotta. Oh, it's time for the Grail. Killshot kills his Jedi Master with extreme prejudice, even though he resisted the chip that was just <laughs> just that much of an edge lord. That is terrible, but also funny. So let's take a quick little moment here, appreciating all of the awesome finds. I'm I'm happy with this because I want to say, like, all in all, these two halls were like under. I don't know, it was like like under $70, I think, for both of these first two hauls. Altogether, it's a great deal because there's a many great figures, many great stands. Vulture Swan alone is worth like 40. Not that I'm going to sell her, but um yeah, it's 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 worth it. You know, I got a I feel like I got a very fair price here, even with all of the cat and dog hair. Um still wondering what happened to the clone Assage saved when when, when clone, then clones, wait, I don't know what you're saying. Still wondering what happened to the clone Asajj saved, then clone napped. Cl wait, did she kidnap a clone trooper? When did she kidnap a clone trooper? I am actually genuinely confused. Hmm. Um, in, in classic, uh, AOS customs slash Adrian fashion, I will trade you Boltar Swan for two Order 66 Kashyyyk Troopers. Hmm. <laughs> Got him. And yeah, so that's that's the first parts of this haul. I appreciate all you guys with the help on identifying a lot of these parts because honestly, I didn't know what half of these were. So especially, um, especially you, Blaine, that was a massive help. And we have all of these papers that I love. We have Yoda and a lightsaber. And yeah, there we go. So there, there's all of that. And now the moment that you've all been waiting for, potentially. Send me Clone Wars 212. Haha. <laughs> I I I know that that wait, hang on a second. Crap. Crap. My computer is going to die. And my computer is what I'm reading chat on. So let's hang on one second. Won't take long. But the moment that you've all been waiting for is just around the corner. There's that. Now my computer won't die and I'll be able to keep up with chat. All right. So, it arrived to me today via UPS in these shirts. These are lovely shirts. They are not in my size, so I'm highly disappointed whoever sent me these. These are size small and I'm not a size small anymore. Are we all oh, do? Oh wait, never mind. Oh, okay, here we go. I was really scared. I was really, really scared that this arrived today with the box like partially, uh, partially torn open. And so yeah, um, they used shirts as packing material, which is okay. It definitely wasn't very like weight uh, efficient because they do weigh more than like. Styro or like styrofoam or anything else like that, but the box was literally ripped open at the top, so I was very afraid that part of this would be missing, but thankfully, oh, thankfully, it was missing nothing at all, and here we go. Oh, I got the Tartakovsky gunship the tiger shark gunship. I have wanted this for so long. We, I, I can't even express. It's just, I am so happy to have this. And it is like in mint condition, all of the pieces, all the rockets, everything. Let me slowly get all of those out. We have the wings, of course. And this one. And the rockets. It's, it's complete. And it, I mean, it, it might be missing like one or two of like the smaller missiles, but the ones that I was really worried about that are always missing are the nose guns. And those should be right in here. So let's just pop that open. Oh, and he said he included a, uh, a Goji, a Goji pilot, and he included matchstick, which is 10 times cooler than Goji in my opinion. He's got the removable helmet. I don't think I've ever owned 
a matchstick. So this is sweet. He will be the temporary pilot in here until I can get to uh, phase one tiger shark pilots, which I will eventually track down. But I am so excited to have this. Like I, I, I just am. I am. I'm very excited. I've got one gunship. I have the Lucky Leku gunship right now. It's incomplete. And I've been meaning to customize it because it's so beat up. I wanted to repaint it, leaving the Lucky Leku like front piece on the nose, but painting it to match my custom Legion. Ah, uh, and now I feel like I can do that because I have a better gunship. A really, really cool gunship with all of the nose darts and everything. And oh my goodness, I am just... Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it because it's a freaking gunship and it's amazing. Um, let's get it assembled though. It is a little dusty, but I mean, you know, nothing, no harm, no foul. Amazingly, the pegs aren't broken off on on this. Like, I, I feel like every gunship I've ever seen has these pegs broken off. So I'll have to be very gentle so as not to be the one that does break them off. Let's, there we go. There's that. And yeah, the TVC needs to reissue a gunship like, I don't know, immediately because we have not gotten one for many, many a year. Even, oh wow, even the rockets have no broken tabs. So I gotta be very, very gentle with this because this is like, oh, <laughs> it's the holy grail of, it, yeah, it is. It is just the holy grail. Um, hang on one second. Let's move that back just a little bit. It does show a little bit of the background that I was trying to hide, but how else do you fit an entire Republic gunship into the frame? You don't because it's too awesome. The, the frame can't hold all of the awesomeness at once. Why on earth do they use clear plastic for integral pegs? An excellent question, one that I cannot answer for you because... I don't know. It's kind of confusing. And let's see. That, I assume... I've never had a gunship this complete, so I guess this is probably the tail turret. Let's see. There we go. Nice. Oh, yes, I am... I can be done collecting now, forever, because this is all I need. <laughs> this is all... I mean, not really, but, you know, let's just pretend like it is for like five minutes. This is all I'll ever need. I am very happy. And I paid a fair price for it. Like, I got it for what I would consider a a deal, you know. And that's what I was looking for because, unfortunately, again, with all prices going up, these were on the rise as well, especially complete. And so I'm, I'm happy. We'll put matchstick, put matchstick in there and... As a bit of a spoiler, maybe not a spoiler, but just kind of a, a piece of information. Um, yeah, oh no, I, I spent two fifty on it, $2.50 on this, therefore I am ripped off. I need to go cry now. Um, no, I, I'm pretty happy though with the price I paid for it. Um, yeah, it was, it was a solid deal. And seeing it in person now with the, the condition overall, the yellowing, pla or the the plastic isn't yellowed is what I'm meaning to say. It's not yellowed. It's not like scratched or really even played with. And it's got all the nose cannons and everything. It's perfect. It is perfect. And I will just live in this moment for like 30 more seconds because it's perfect and I love it. Anyways, there is this comma from the first unboxing, right? And what this is going to be for, ideally, I'm going to try and make the Mullinus 10 but with good bodies, because they never really made, I mean, they kind of did make the Order 66 two-pack ARC Trooper that was technically a Molinus 10 clone trooper. However, I would like to make them on the, even though I don't like the skinny mold from the Vintage Collection, I want them to match the Vintage Collection Fordo. Therefore, I'll use these commas and any pauldron that I can find that kind of matches them, and I'll make the Molinus 10, in that mold with these commas and things like that. And then um, then I'll have the ARC Trooper, well, I'll have uh, Fordo, of course, and then I will also have 
Uh, I, well, I need to track down. I don't have the ARC Trooper Heavy Gunner, the one with like the big quad cannon. So I need to track that down as well as some more Vintage Collection Phase 1 Clone Troopers. And then I'll be able to get started and have a full, like, hopefully a full troop bay. And I'll have this somehow, like, hanging from my ceiling, I think. I think. We'll see. Um, but we'll try and do something where it's, like, hanging from the ceiling and with the troops all in the troop bay. And then, of course, ideally, this is all, this is all, you know years down the line, because I don't expect to just walk out the door tomorrow and find all of these figures, let alone be able to, like, customize them and all that, but ideally sometime in the future I'll also get two of the Phase 1 Tiger Shark pilots and have those and, you know, just build out a complete Tiger Shark collection, because the, the Tartakovsky Clone Wars is, like, my favorite Clone Wars, and it's the only real line that I'm focused on going completionist with, Whereas with other lines, I'm just going, oh, I want that figure. I don't want that figure. 2003 Clone Wars, it hits different, you know? It hits different. Um, if I find any Order 66 Blue Arcs for a decent price during your journey, hit me up. Oh, that's right, because you said you kind of want to do the same thing for uh, for your Molinus 10, for your Tiger Shark. So I will, I'll keep my eye out. Um <laughs> I, I miss the days when those Order 66 two-packs were, like, 15 apiece and sometimes 20 if it was, like, one of the more sought-after ones. But now they're all super expensive. Um, and by super expensive, I mean 25 for, like, one of the less popular ones and 35 to 40 for, like, the Kashyyyk Trooper, the Bark Trooper, um... Any of the ones that I want, <laughs> any of the ones I want are, of course, the ones that go up in price, so I can't win, but um, I've got three of them, which is enough for the original crew from their first appearance, but I can, like, a ton more for the second outing. Why not the Arc, Arc Echo 5's mold? Wouldn't it be better proportioned? You're not wrong, um, Sith Lord, with the, uh, the Arc bodies, and I do have quite a few of the... Uh, that from that three pack, well, not the three pack, but the single carded ones. I bought quite a few of those to try and do a Rancor battalion using that mold, but I think unfortunately, um, I think the scale would be different because they're shorter, so it's going to be shorter than Fordo. And they've also got like the leg armor and stuff, which is inaccurate to the show. So I think that the only way to keep, um, the ARC troopers looking like they did in the Clone Wars is to use the skinny mold or maybe the Order 66 mold, but the Order 66 mold, sorry, I'm kind of going on a rant, but, or not a rant, but a, uh, a long dialogue about this. The Order 66 mold has like the leg straps, which again is inaccurate to the show. So you kind of end up dealing with like close enough. That's kind of the only way you can get it is like you'll have something that's close enough and it's not it's not exact, it's not precise. It's whatever makes you happy and uh I think that the skinny mold is probably going to be the closest thing that I can get. Though I think oh shoot. You know, thinking this through all on a live stream just talking out loud. Um I don't think the skinny mold troopers fit inside the gunship. I think that they are like this much taller and they don't fit. And even Bakara is a little bit tall, but once you kind of tuck him in there, he'll fit. I think the skinny mold clone troopers are too tall. So we might have to rethink this a little bit, but we will definitely, definitely kind of experiment a little bit. I say we, I will definitely experiment with it a little bit and see what I can come up with. Um, do you have any of the Gendi Clone Wars animated style Clone Wars figures? Do they, do they look in scale with a Tiger Shark gunship? I do have some, um, you'll have to give me, you'll have to give me like, uh, hang on. Let me see if I can do this. Kind of boxed in by my lights here, but I can run to my collection room really quick. There will be a short radio silence while I go and I'll grab the, uh, I'll grab the skinny mold clone while I'm at it as well, just, just in case. So give me one second.
Alrighty, here we go. I'm back. And yes, I do agree, uh, JCC. I don't know if I should call you Adam or just call you JCC. Whatever you're comfortable with. I'll call you whatever you want. But um, it's complicated to say that. Um, yeah, it, the gunship is underscaled. Like it should be, especially if you go off like that scene, my favorite scene in all of Clone Wars where the ARC troopers gear up inside of this, it would fit way more than, uh, than what you can in reality. But I get it. You would need to scale this up at least 50% more and that would be... Whew, that'd be expensive. That'd be like a, that would be some sort of insane, like, oh, uh, what's, uh, what's the thing? Um, like a HasLab project at that point. Um, whatever you say, Master Mega Epic Man J4 Sir Adam of Ohio, I will call you that from now on. Um, that is going to actually, you know what, if that's not your new YouTube handle, um, I'm going to unsub, going to unsub instantly. So let's see. Okay. I grabbed this guy. The Captain Fordo, he dropped one of his blasters. I had to kind of tear down a little bit of my, my Clone Wars display just to get these guys out, but he fits in pretty nicely, actually. It would look pretty sweet to have him in there, and then if you had extra of this figure, you could repaint them blue and have them in there. The only downside being they all have... Um, the same, the same pose. There's no unique pose. Excuse me. Uh, where's my water at? There we go. They're all the same pose, and so it would be kind of, eh, you know. So there's that. Then I also brought out um, this guy. And actually, look at, check that out. They're slightly shorter than like a standard trooper, and so they fit in there with no problem. So you could have... Oh, dude, this might actually be until I get, until I get my displayed. Like if I get more of the arc troopers, until I do. This might be, that might be the way to go. Check that out. That looks amazing. If I had the phase one troopers, with the arc trooper, man, that that's actually that doesn't look bad at all. That looks amazing. Okay, so that works. That that definitely works. And then, we have. Arc Trooper Fordo, the Vintage Collection version. I'm going to have to... Uh, oh, I really like this pose. I don't want to unpose him. Um, we'll do it. Anyways, we'll we'll just have to take some time and repose him later. But he... Uh, let's see. He is... Yeah, look at that. That is a significant height difference, so he doesn't fit. He definitely doesn't fit. And... He only barely fits underneath, so you can kind of you can kind of make that work. Um, but it doesn't look very good. <laughs> that doesn't look great at all. So I guess I mean if you had him like up here or like outside of the trooper bay, it would look okay. But that's a bummer that he is that tall. I suppose the arc mold would be better because it's shorter. Um, the vintage collection arc mold, but. Again, they've got all the ARC Trooper armor molded onto the shins and such that it would look uh, it would look inaccurate to the show. So, again, you kind of got to pick and choose your battles. You can't really um, you can't really have some sort of perfect all-in-one ARC Trooper mold. You kind of got to kit bash them together or sacrifice one thing or another to get them looking right. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so. I have the Gendy figures and empty shelf. Now I just need the Tiger Shark. Good luck finding it. I mean, it's out there, and I am living evidence now to uh, show that there is uh, the occasional really, really good deal out there as well. So, you know, just be patient. I tell people this all the time. When they ask how I got a magical figure, you know, if I got a rare figure or something, how did I get it? You know, how did I... And the answer is very simple. I either paid extra for it or like I paid the the current asking price on eBay which sometimes happens or I just got lucky and that all comes down to patience I if you're patient things come up for a fair price not always you won't always find a good deal but um it's better than just like instantly buying the first thing you see and then regretting it later when you find it for less it's never a guarantee so just kind of keep that in mind like 
for me, the Kashyyyk pack was one that I was very, very willing to pay more for because I knew how rare it was. This was something that I was willing to pay more for than like a standard gunship, but I wasn't really willing to pay like out of pocket exactly what eBay was asking. So I waited for a good deal and one came up. With clone troopers, it's the same way. I'm not gonna pay a bunch of money for like the Kashyyyk army build. Even though I really wanna army build it, I'm just slowly accumulating them over time as a good deal comes up or as you know I find a pack at a comic shop or something, I'll pick it up, I'll add it to the army build, but it would be way too expensive to go out to eBay <clears throat> right now and try and get them for what everybody's asking. So that's just my advice. You know, if you're looking for something, just try and try and keep that in mind. Have like a running scale in your head of, I'm willing to pay this for this figure. I'm not willing to pay this for that figure. And that way you're, uh, you're not going to get caught off guard. Cause if you go to like the toy show, uh, excuse me, the toy show and you see something, you're like, man, that's on my list. And eh, it's a little bit high, but man, I really want it. You're going to impulse buy it. 10 times out of 10, do not buy an impulse buy. <laughs> like it just, it, it isn't usually worth it. Go for the, the patient route. In most cases, you will eventually find one for a better price. Just my take on it. Um, just my uh, two cents. But yeah, there's, uh, there's not much else uh, to talk about. This is the uh, the hall. This is the Holy Grail. The the gunship, the Tiger Hawk gunship. I don't think, I don't think I'll ever uh, have something that I've quite sought after as much as this. I think it's like the pinnacle right now. So, for now, um, unless there's like some questions, I don't really have like a, a Lego set to build or anything that I could just hang out with for a while. But I mean, if you guys have any questions, I'd be happy to uh, to answer a couple more before I log off. But this has been fun. I do appreciate all you guys that came out to hang out. It was probably one of the more um, one of the more productive or interactive live streams that I've done. And I really appreciate all you guys who were active in the chat, hanging out, talking, and uh, you know all that good stuff. Um, you know, just for that, <clears throat> just for that single comment from a certain famous YouTuber in my chat, um, I'm going to call him JCCCC. 2222225 from now on. He's no longer getting called the Sir Adam of Ohio. He's lost his title and now it's just um oh, actually better yet. I'll just hmm, I don't know. I'll do something mean. Adam, you know, funny story, there was actually a kid in my college classes that my professor who was definitely more of a uh antagonistic person. Um, <laughs> he, he called the kid in my class that was named Adam, uh, Adam, when he asked a stupid question. It was all in good fun, I assure you. Uh, Adam was one of this Adam, not JCC Adam, but this Adam from college was a very, very uh, dry humor type of person. So he appreciated getting called Adam a lot. And uh yeah, it it's it's fun in good fun, but it's not fun if you're actually like bullying somebody by calling them that and hurting their feelings. Obviously, uh, Sir Adam of Ohio is way too uh, big brain to be upset about something as simple as that. So I I am very <clears throat> confident that it's not going to be a big deal. But oh no, oh no, there we go. The funny thing is I. It's actually quite um, quite obvious, I'm certain, in most of my live streams. I'm not the best with comebacks. Sometimes I can get a witty one just out of the blue, but you know, I like to I like banter. I love banter in movies. Um, like, you know, uh, Hot Fuzz or anything by like Taika Watiti or uh, Wes Anderson, those movies that have dry, witty humor, I appreciate them. I lack it heavily. So, <laughs> yeah. Hello, J Guys Studio. You are saying greetings towards the end of the stream. So, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, that's a good. It was a good time, though. It was a very good time. 
Just wondering, are you missing the ball turrets that are meant to go on the side of the gunship? Not for this one. Um, this one didn't come with any ball turrets. You could attach them the same as any gunship. However, it's, uh, it's not necessarily required. I can't remember in the show. I think it had, did it have floodlights or no, the floodlights were like up top or something. I think in the show it didn't have those. Um, so really this is accurate. This is Perfect the way that it is. The only one that ever came with ball turrets, I think, was the TVC one. The rest were all singly packed in with other figures. Um, yeah, no, I don't have I don't have those. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I'm just trying to read through chat here. I see that there is a small feud beginning between. Uh, a few people. Now, guys, keep it. Keep it civil here. We don't need to switch to aggressive negotiations. Gosh. But yeah, this uh, has been fun. Very, very fun. Um, <clears throat> that's... I don't know why I'm clearing my throat all of a sudden. Like, suddenly my throat is like, you've been talking too long. Time for me to shrivel up and die. Message redacted. Ooh, I saw that. I saw that. My finger is motioning to the point in my screen where it showed up, but you guys didn't see anything there. Ha ha. Nothing I do is small. This is war. Um, let's consider World War I. The assassination of Franz Ferdinand. That was similarly a small act that resulted in thousands, if not millions, of deaths. Consider your actions. <laughs> the negotiations were short, though. <laughs> um, there, yeah, what's going on? I don't know. Lots of chaos is going on here. I think we're beginning a small feud. And, uh, it, guys, it all started with um, just just a simple, simple grail. <laughs> okay, here's where I leave before I get drafted. Hey, <laughs> yeah, just wait. Just wait. You're going to start hearing uh, Fortunate Sons start playing in the background here in just a moment. Uh, for the Order 66 arcs, you could just pop the legs off at the knees and replace them with clone legs that don't have the extra armor. You are not wrong, but I do not like doing that because I've snapped the peg off in the body, especially as these figures have aged considerably. Um, they're going on you know, 10, 15 years old now. It gets less and less easy to do stuff like that without damaging them. <clears throat> I didn't even see what was redacted. I'm disappointed. All right, Adrian, I will see you later. I hope you had fun. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up the live stream. It's been a lot of fun, though. You guys have been a blast to hang out with. I appreciate it. Um, I, I enjoyed this. It was a great way to spend a Wednesday evening and, uh, I will uh, catch you all on the flip side. You know what I'm saying? More uh, more videos to come. And don't worry, JCC224, I saw that. I saw that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, goodbye to everyone except for Adam. That's, that's the perfect place to end the live stream if I can freaking figure out how to do it. There it is. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. I will catch you all.